Guys, the food has arrived and this looks manic. Bit of tofu. On to that. Money bite. I almost forgot, get this extra. Get the bloody sambal extra and eat it on the side because it is delicious. Look at it. What is up guys? Your boy is flying out of the Philippines today at Nanoy International Airport. What's someone was calling me? But that is right, we are leaving today. Very sad to be leaving the Philippines, but I will be back. I'm full time traveling, so I'm trying to hit up as many places as possible. But there's so many stuff that I've left out in the Philippines. I will be back. Don't you worry. But it is pretty busy, guys. It is pretty busy. Can you guess where I'm going? I don't know if the title is going to give it away, but waiting to one of the goddamn best airports in the world. Maybe the best. It's arguable. But I'm super excited to be heading off to do a destination. It's been about a month in the Philippines, which is crazy. I've loved every single minute. I've loved everybody that I've met as well. And low key, I love you guys. So thank you. But well, let's walk towards, I'm at gate 103, get on this flight, get to the new country, check in, get some food, do some exploration. Let's get it. Perfect timing, guys. I was working at a cafe, but we we're all due to, to check in on the flight. Singapore. Cool. There we go. Well, I guess now you know. We're gonna. Singapore. Hello, I'll come this way. How are you? You all good? Uh, I'm good. Very good, very good. Sir David, do you have a sir? I do, in my bag. I'll Just put it on. There, Not to worry. Thank okay, you. thank Safe you. Light. Hope so. We're about to board, guys. I can see the captain. Hello. Hopefully a safe flight. Singapore is only two, three hours, so we should be good. Hi, good afternoon. Hello, how, how are you? Are good, it sir. is good to meet you, Gary. Likewise, sir. Looks like it's an good empty sir. flight, good guys. Not much people. Here we are guys, 11A. Hello, how are you? Hi. You all good? Good. <laughs> Hello. Good. good. 11A guys, we are in. Window seat. Thank you. Hi. Guys, we have arrived in Singapore. Yes, I'm gonna do some of the boring stuff, luggage, SIM card, but then we'll check out the beautiful Singapore airport. Get some food hopefully here as well. It is good to be in a new country. New people, new food, new adventures. Let's go. It's actually very classy though, huh? I think Immediate comparisons to, I guess, the only airports I've been to Melbourne, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines And this feels like I'm in a five-star luxury hotel As in just the patterns of the walkway The lighting on the ceilings Might be a small detail to you, but to me, someone who's traveling full-time Could immediately feel a difference already It's just Classy. Yeah, like I'm in a five-star hotel. I've seen photos of this. Hopefully we can find that. That is in the airport, I believe. Guys, there's one, two, three. 
escalators going down. Once again, small details. That's probably one or two more escalators than you'd normally get at an airport. Check this out. Like I said, the vibes is five-star luxury hotel vibes. So big, so spacious. Damn. I think we've got an automated immigration. I'll see you guys on the outside. Or maybe it's all passports. I'll figure it out. It looks like I've got to do one of these. SGAC before clearing immigration. And then... Oceania, Australia. Auto great. Auto automated immigration lanes. Interesting. Guys, I'm just doing the SG arrival card, but check that out, huh? That tree. The few trees inside and then this ornament on the ceiling as well. Very cool. Alright, through immigration. S A G C. It's like the one health pass if you're from the Philippines. Normal stuff, duty free. This isn't too fancy. I think this it's pretty similar to all the airports around the world, probably. Or the main ones anyways. But yeah, you just got to SAGC, fill out your details, etc. How long you're going to be for, the standard stuff. Straight through immigration, very quick. Luggage is right here. Hopefully we can find mine. Guys, whilst we wait, just check out the interior design though. Huh? Once again, the little details are amazing. Rocks. Greenery. There's greenery up in the walls as well. And there's that spinning thing again. Purple, black, pink chairs. And I don't think you guys can hear, it's probably too um, far away, but you can actually hear it's like Zen music. Oh, when you're in Thailand, you're getting a massage. That's what I hear. But I found my luggage. Let's go. But yeah, just the greenery, the little things. It's the little things. Beautiful, and the music. I feel at peace. Like I'm about to get a sensual massage. So, secure the SIM card, exchange some money. Damn, exchange rates. This is, I'm only in Singapore for about a week because it's small, but it's also Expensive. It's like me living in Australia still. I think the exchange rate's like dollar for dollar almost. But I got SIM card, 32 gigs. I saw 100 gigs for 32 dollars, which is eh, it's alright. It's actually for a month. That is, I suppose, it's special. I don't know. I was in a rush. But this is the airport, guys. It is very snazzy. Now, I might be wrong, but I'm starting to piece it together. Once you're actually checked in for a flight and waiting. You see a lot more of the beautiful stuff. I could be wrong. I did a quick little look around, but nothing too much. So I think I'm just gonna get a grab, head to the hotel, check in, show you room tour, and then we shall grab some Singaporean food. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Excited. It is cold though. It's been raining here. All right guys, we've got our ride, our grab ride. It's dark out now. Jump in. Oh. Hello. Oh. Thank you. Is it okay? Okay. Guys, the heavens are raining. I've left the nice Manila to this weather. The front? I can sit here. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ooh. And we're in, guys. How are you? Good. Feel good? Yeah. Very good. Let's head to the hotel. We have arrived. I've met Andrew. This is Andrew. He is a food food blogger, <laughs> and he's recommended some spots which we'll go to now. All right, Andrew. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> good meeting you. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see you this week, maybe. <laughs> Take care. Well Likewise. All right, guys, I'm staying at Ibis Budget Hotels. It's the cheapest hotel I found, which is 
still a hundred dollars a night, I think, which is, uh, but is what it is. Hello, how are you? It's a nice vibe there, guys. I'm gonna check in, see you guys upstairs. All right, guys, I'm in my hotel. It is very snazzy. Like I was saying, it's actually a hundred dollars, something like that, for a night. Singapore is an expensive country, and it was the cheapest I could find, but it's pretty, pretty snazzy. Nice little bed. You know what we're gonna do? Oh, that's a bit tough, man. Do you hear me bounce off? It's right, it will do. I'm here in Singapore for a week or so. I'm gonna hit up many hawker centers, delicious food, I'm so excited, and the beautiful scenery. I've heard so many good things, especially from my mates, Herson and Sam, who you met in Oslob, if you're following from the Filipino series. They lived in Singapore, and Sam still does. But a place to work, exactly what I need. And bathroom is pretty snazzy as well. It's actually pretty clean. Shower head and everything. I'm gonna freshen up, I'm gonna unpack, and you best believe we're gonna go and get some Singaporean food or food here. See you in a second. All right guys, it's probably a bit dark for you, but deal with it. We're in the streets of Singapore, baby. And it's a completely different feel, obviously to the Philippines. I guess you could compare it to Makati BGC. This is not a first impression, that will be tomorrow. So you better watch. But the streets, they are quiet. They are wide. There are footpaths. There is greenery. The air feels fresh. Your boy has barely eaten all day. He's been saving himself for some bloody proper Singaporean food. We are on the way to a recommended place. It's about 10 minutes from the hotel. Supposedly I'm staying near the red light district and I have seen some beautiful girls on the streets already. But they are looking very professional. So do with that what you will. But guys, it's only about 8.30 at night. Nice houses, very modern. Hello, how are you? How's your evening? Very good. Okay. How is yours? Okay. Friendly local as well. That is the key. If someone is looking at me, I will say hi. And if they say hi back, that is a good sign for a country. But guys, let's continue. I'll meet you guys at the restaurant. I think we have arrived. It's very nice and calming and peaceful at night. Totally different to Manila. But I'll stop comparing. Gotta appreciate for each country that it is. But we're here. It's Lai Quat Signatures, I believe. My grab driver before recommended this place. So we'll grab a table for one and see what they have. Reserved. Hello, table for one? Is it okay? Or, yeah, just one. Thank you very much. We'll grab a seat here, guys. Thank you. Live white signatures. Alright. So happy to be in Singapore. The food is to die for. Right, let's check out what they have. Signature dish, you took a bunch of seafood. That looks amazing. Braised pig trotter. You guys can see? It's like Australian prices, so I'm like low key a bit sad. But it's alright. What is the best? Uh, I kind of speak good. English? English. Okay, what, what is good? What, yeah. You, okay. Uh, sambal rice? Sambal fried rice, yes. Yep, okay. And this is good? Yeah, small. Yeah, small. 
Take it away. Have you? Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. So hopefully it's not like that all. Uh, language barriers. I got tofu sizzling plates and the sambal rice. I was recommended the sambal rice, so we'll see if it's nice. Check back in in a second, guys. But place is pretty. It's a strawberry, is it? People chilling, eating with their friends. Nice little place. I'm so keen to hit up Hawker Centers. And tomorrow's first impression is going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Let's wait for the food. Guys, the food has arrived and this looks manic. So I got a sizzling plate. I'm a sucker for sizzling plate. It's like some prawns, mushrooms, tofu. Look at this jiggle. Some beans, green beans. That looks so delicious. But check this out. This is what was recommended by um, my grab driver. Sambal bloody fried rice. This is so big. It's chicken, prawns. And sambal, you know it's spicy. Got a water and some fish sauce as well. But guys, check this out for a meal. That is madness. I'm so pumped for this series. Uh, let's dig in. Sambal fried rice. I'm hoping this is fish sauce. I feel like it needs a little bit. But my god, the sambal is delicious. Slightly spicy. But rich in flavors. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I wish I was a, a knowledgeable food blogger. I could describe it to you guys, but this is damn good. Time for this beautiful sizzling plate of tofu. Look at that tofu, huh? It's sweet, but lingers of umami. I don't know what is in this, but I've, I've had this before in Australia. Definitely at a Singaporean or a Chinese restaurant. It is so good. The prawns are juicy. Tofu has been slightly fried. Sauce is thick. With the sambal fried rice, amazing. I've had flavors like this in the last month. Maybe not even Thailand has flavors like this, to be honest. I'm sorry, but Singaporean food on the first day has blown me away. Restaurant is live, what? Signatures. If you're ever in Singapore, come in, come down here. Sambal fried rice. Guys, it's egg as well, I just realized. I think egg's massive in Singapore, right? You guys use it for a lot of stuff. A bit of tofu. On to that. Money bite. A bit of rice, a bit of tofu, a bit of egg. Guys, check this out. Sambal. Extra sambal. So, I think it was Anthony, my grab driver, he said, I almost forgot, get this extra. Get the bloody sambal extra and eat it on the side, because it is delicious. Look at it. Straight up sambal. Some of the best sambal I've ever had. So guys, I'm almost finished. Normally I don't eat this much rice, but it was delicious. And this sambal. So sambal is garlic, shallots, lemongrass, galangal, tomatoes, and shrimp paste as well. So many flavors, so many delicious Asian flavors. I'm so glad to be in Singapore for the food. Oh, 
is amazing. Guys, I'm stuffed. I'll be honest, I smashed that. There's so much rice. Tell me it was like two or three people worth the rice, but it was delicious. And that sambal, almost damn near finished. Now the daunting part, see what the damage is. I think it's like $15. I'll put the prices up after. Hello, how are you? This is the kitchen, huh? Oh. They got some soup going on, guys. Oh, look at that pork knuckle as well. Oh. That looks delicious. But I will get out of their way. Maybe. It's like kitchen's back there too. Hey, I can pay? Yeah? yeah. Thank you. That was delicious. That was good. Okay. 18, I'll pay on cash. There is 20. Thank you. This is family, family run. It is a fa family business. Family. Yeah. Family? Yeah. Oh, family business. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I will say thank you. I will say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look at that pork guys, that's delicious. Very good. That is what is that is the best one? Oh fat or meat. Fat, this one, yeah. Fat meat. yeah oh, this one meat. Meat. Yeah. Okay. And this Bagel. is soup? Uh salt veggie. Salted veggie. Yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go guys. Your boy is full, but I'll show you the story real quick. Like what roadside story, yeah? Founded in 51 by the grandfather. Guys, your boy is stuffed. Lucky I didn't eat all day. Singapore series, coming baby. First impressions tomorrow. I'll see you then. Enjoy your night.